Welcome to Black Sheep's Time to Shine. My name is Jared Mello, and this is the place where all the different kinds of black sheep can come together, judgment-free. And please remember that the little things in life do indeed matter. If we can't do the little things right, we're not going to be able to do the big things right. It's why I carry these wands around everywhere I go. Now, today what I want to do is I want to answer a question that was on one of my videos. And it was the video about when the narcissist plays the victim. And the commenter said, well, what do you do when you call them out on playing the victim and they just change their manipulation tactic? They just jump from one manipulation tactic to the next. So how do you address the actual problem you're trying to address? And this is a good question. Now, the first thing to ask is, unless there's a reason you have to be talking to this person, you're probably just better off not having a relationship with them. But I know that's not always the case. Sometimes there's family. Sometimes it's a co-parenting situation. So that doesn't apply where you have to communicate with them for whatever reason. And if you're going to have to communicate with them and you're going to have to get to the bottom of something, it's going to take three major things. One, you're going to have to have a lot of emotional self-control. You're not going to be able to get emotional in any way. You have to be calm and collect. Similar to a gray rock. For those of you who don't know, gray rock is when you're very unemotional, non-emotional, boring, and straight to the point. Now, that leads directly to number two. You got to stay really focused on what you're trying to get done. If you want to find out something, you got to stay focused on that. You can't allow whatever manipulation tactic they're going to try to use to work. And they're going to try to probably flip the script. They'll maybe try to gaslight, deflect, uh, some other kind of blame-shifting behavior, talking about something else. But it's going to require you to stay very focused. That's why you got to have a lot of emotional self-control and you got to stay focused, focused on what the goal at hand is. And then third, one of the actual techniques to handle this, gray rock will be used throughout the whole thing. But then another technique is the broken record technique, where if you want to get something accomplished, you want to find out something specific, whatever they say, if it's not in relation to the question you're trying to answer or get answered, broken record the question. For example, if you want to know, can you pick up our son or daughter from school? If they go off on some tangent, just ask the question again. Can you pick up our son or daughter from school? And do not let them get away with trying to flip the script, change the subject, deflect in some way. You got to stay very focused. So to reiterate the three things here, lots of emotional self-control and gray rock. Because in situations like this, your emotions will be your enemy. Because all of the emotions you display can and will be used against you by the narcissistic person. That's why it's essential to not display them, to have a lot of emotional self-control. And granted, this is very hard, especially when someone knows what your buttons are and they know how to push them. It becomes very difficult. So it's a skill learning how to master emotional self-control and gray rock. I'm not going to pretend that part's easy. Two, focus. Stay focused on the task at hand and whatever question you want answered or addressed. They're going to try to shift it. They're going to try to change the subject. They're going to try to blame shift, gaslight, fill in the blank with whatever. You got to stay focused and do not let them take the conversation in a hundred different directions. And then third, one of the specific techniques to do that is to be the broken record over and over again. Can you pick them up from school? Are you going to be able to pick our son or daughter up from school at this time? Say they go off on a tangent, ask the question again, broken record technique, all while being gray rock, maybe yellow rock, which is just gray rock with a little more emotion, all while having lots of emotional self-control. So that's how you do it. And ultimately, this is not something you would want to put yourself through unless you absolutely had to. And what are the situations where you might absolutely have to? 
with family, or with a co-parenting situation, or at work. That's another good one, actually, because at work, we can't always choose our co-workers, so this applies with them, too. And again, it's always going to be difficult when it's someone we have to interact with for whatever reason. But if you have lots of emotional self-control, can stay gray rock, can be very focused, and employ a broken record technique, that will give you the best shot at getting what you want out of the conversation and getting to the bottom of whatever it is you want to get to the bottom of. Now, admittedly, maybe there are times when you should just walk away, even in these cases too. If they're not going to answer, if they're not going to work with you in any way, sometimes leaving the conversation is best. And you might not be able to leave for good if it's a co-parenting situation or a family situation or someone at work, but Sometimes that break is needed because I don't suggest anyone tolerate disrespect. If they're going to disrespect, if they're going to be abusive, walking away sometimes is the answer. Now, you might not be able to walk away permanently, but you at least got to show them that your boundaries matter. How they treat you matters, and they can't forget that. And sometimes you got to show them, hey, I'm not afraid to have a boundary. I'm not afraid to walk away if you don't treat me well, if you don't respect me. And I think when it comes to narcissistic people, they really only respect a couple things. And one of them is power. They will respect power. And when you guard your power and own your power, that's what will make them be the most likely to act well to not go off on some sort of tangents. Now, of course, they can still be childish. They can still be ridiculous. Absolutely. I'm not going to say just because you practice radical self-respect, own your power, have firm boundaries, and are assertive, it doesn't mean they're going to all of a sudden behave very well, but it will give you the most likely chance that they will, and you'll be able to get whatever you need from them answered or accomplished. And again, Mostly, though, you're going to want to limit your contact with these kinds of people for the very most part. But sometimes with family, co-parenting, or at work, it's not really possible. So you have to implement these strategies. So to the user that commented this question, hopefully you see this video, and hopefully you'll be able to implement this into whatever interactions you were talking about that you have to deal with a narcissistic person. And you implement this implement emotional self-control on gray rock, staying focused, and broken record technique. That should get most of what you need accomplished done. And if they're going to really treat you poorly and disrespect you in the process, don't be afraid to take a break from the conversation. Don't be afraid to walk away and come back to it at another time. So with that, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. Uh, Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I come up with more videos. Share this video with someone that you think might benefit from hearing about this. Maybe they have to deal with a narcissistic co-parent. Maybe they have a narcissistic co-worker or a narcissistic family member. Maybe it would help them to hear this. So send that to them and comment below if you have experience with this kind of scenario and tell us all how you handled it. How did you handle dealing with a narcissistic person? Maybe you have some other tips or tricks that really helped that could benefit the rest of the community here. So with that, thank you very much for watching and have a great rest of your day.